Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossing and today's greenhouse tour is taking you through one of our greenhouses that grows our eight inch perennials. Uh, so we have a lot of different things going on in here and you can see that we utilize the ceiling as well for growing space. So some of the plants that like it a little bit warmer, they get put up there on top. Uh, so as we're walking through, I'll stop as we see some color or things of interest. Uh, first thing we have here is the Brunera. So this is a Brunera Jack of Diamonds and also the uh, Brunera Queen of Hearts. Um, you see it's got the nice foliage here that's got kind of the silverly silver overlay. And you can also see that they're flowering a little bit. So these nice beautiful periwinkle blue forget me not looking flowers. Uh, so that one there is the Jack of Diamonds. And as we move down, this is the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts is a little bit smaller leaf and a little bit more of that silver overlay going on. We also have the Heuchera or Corabels, and you can just see the sea of color here, also up in the ceiling. And the Corabels are looking really nice right now. They create a nice mounding habit in your sun or shade gardens. Um, actually, they'll do a little bit better with, the more, with a little bit more sun. Uh, this here in front of us is the uh, Dulce Wildberry, and it's got that beautiful purple with pink coloration going on. Up in the ceiling is the Peachberry. This here, the orange in front of us, this is Cherry Truffles, and that's next to uh, Pretty Pistachio. And then the next one here is Mahogany Monster with those really large leaves. This beauty here that's blooming, this is a Tiarella, and this is Tiarella I Spy. It's got these really nice pink flowers along with that variegated foliage. Next to it is Tiarella Fun and Games Hopscotch, which has a really nice coppery orange color foliage. It's a little bit of color here on some of the flocks, not a whole lot. Um, we've gone through and kind of trimmed those back a little bit to get them to branch out and be a thicker, fuller plant. Uh, color you're seeing here is the Tiarella Cutting Edge. It's got those beautiful variegated foliage, kind of that bicolor foliage, heavily serrated edges, kind of looks like a maple leaf with a bright white bottle brush looking flowers. The Clematis Stand By Me, they're about 12 to 18 inches tall and we've got them all growing up there on those bamboo poles to give them some structure. Uh, looks like the lavender, the sweet romance, is just starting to put on a little bit of color. Not enough to give it any fragrance, but you can definitely see there's a sea of buds there waiting to open up. And once that does, it's going to smell really nice here in this greenhouse. We have some of the Daisy May Leucanthemums are starting to put on a few flowers here and there. These are kind of more rogue flowers. They really shouldn't be flowering yet, but sometimes they have a little bud that wants to bloom and that's what's going on here. Typically these get about 12 inches tall or so before they start putting on flowers. Here we have the Heuchera Wild Rose. And this one is super intense, um, very pink. This I think is one of my favorite of the Heuchera that we have. We'll look over here on the side wall there, and those are all cat's pajamas, and they're just starting to put on flower. You can see they're creating a cute little mound of color. We're going to head into the next greenhouse, which is going to have a bunch of annuals in it, and annuals always give a lot more color, especially this time of year. So as I'm standing here in the walkway of one of our annual greenhouses, you can just see that sea of color. And I love to stand from a distance and just see all those bright pops. Uh, in front of me here, these are hardy hibiscus. These were just planted up today. So they're gonna be ready, I think in about a month or two. 
but you can just see that's what size they are when they start and then when we ship them they'll be around six to eight inches tall this patchwork of color is coming from the Rockapoco Impatience. You can just see all the different colorations there. These Rockapocos are really pretty because they've got like little rosebud looking flowers. So I'll go in and show you. Sometimes with the annuals, if they start getting too tall, we'll go ahead and trim them. If they're you know, getting taller than what they should be, we want to branch them out. And you can see here, this is a good example, the Rockapoco Apple Blossom. We just took a light scissors to these and trimmed them at tag height. You can still see a lot of buds there and they'll be blooming here shortly. Some of the other things that are of interest are the vegetables. So there's the amazel basil, which is right up in front here. With it behind it is the fire away hot and heavy peppers. And then there's some more basil back there. So the vegetables are going to typically be about four to six inches tall or so when they ship out, just to kind of give you a little reference for size when you start getting the vegetables. Uh, this area here has, it looks like some sun patients and some begonias. So those are the splashes of color you're seeing in this area. The red there, that is the Surefire Red Begonia. Just behind it is the Surefire Pink. And that splash of burgundy you're seeing, or plum, that is the Oxalis, uh, Oxalis Charmed Wine. I had a phone call today wondering how tall the Thulimbergia are. And the Thulimbergia, the nice vines, we keep them trimmed to about eight to 10 inches. Otherwise they become a big tangled mess. But you can just see here how they're all nicely wound on the posts. So when they get into your garden, they'll be ready to plant up and wind up whatever it is that you're growing them on. That splash of red and purple, that's the Intensia Phlox. It's really pretty right now. And the white in the background is the white one. And I'm gonna just show you a few of the sun patients here to end. You can see the beautiful bright purple. And one of my personal favorites is this deep rose really pretty in the combination so this is Heidi from Garden Crossings taking you on a little tour through the back greenhouses today showing you what the plants are currently looking like hope you're all enjoying your day